Welcome everyone to LOI in Serato Studio. Today's episode is How Do I Import My Own Sound Kits? Take it away, Gons. What up? Gons here. This is one question that's been asked quite a bit, so I wanted to go over it. Some of you might know, but you know, we're here to help out everybody. So, how do I import my own kits? There's a couple different ways. So one way is if you actually use Serato DJ on that specific software, if you create your crate in there, you can import it in here. It'll show up in here. Another way is putting it in the drums section of Serato Studio. And the most important thing is the add crate feature. So say you have drum kits that's not specifically like melodic samples, but just straight drums. We can click here, hit the plus, and then create, you know, let's put, put in test drum kit. And then you would import, so you can do it a couple ways. You can go find the folder that you have, drag it in, and it'll go in there. And now all your sounds will show up on here. So let me just put something in here just for my Beat Fighter stuff from the last competition. Can't wait till they have another one. So say I just grab all these and just throw it into the kit. See how they show up now on there. And if you don't like it, you just delete it. Control, delete, or backspace. Another place to put your import your samples is through the audio samples section. So here I would hit the add crate, proceed to put my stuff in there. Now, a question that I get on top of that is I get a lot of my stuff from splice and that folder has a bunch of folders inside of it. And what a lot of people are referring to is this situation right here. So by default, Splice will make a dedicated folder on your computer and it'll look like this. So now when I do the drop down, see I have all these packs. So trying to drag all of that in here might be a bit of a situation. Now what you could do is start from the bottom, hold shift and click all of them and drag them in. But you might have a lot that you know, you don't want to run into not having enough real estate over here. And some people are worrying about, hey, what if I get duplicates and things of that nature? I fortunately haven't run into that problem. Um, so what I end up doing is I recently downloaded some stuff off Splice just maybe five minutes ago. So what you can do is go to the pack itself, date modified. And these are the two new kits that I used as far as like what I downloaded from Splice. And so I went ahead and made a Splice folder in here. Now I'm not super particular about making separate folders here because Serato Studio has a really good search feature. And as long as I just remember the name of it, it'll pop up and it'll give you a date added, which I think is really clutch also. So for example, we're going to get these two here. So again, shift, click on their trackpad or mouse. I'm gonna drag these in here. You just got imported. So now what I can do is, let me put this a little further. I can go to added, click on that. And then these are my newly added sounds in here. These are from last time. So again, if you don't have this tab and you're like, where can I find that? All you have to do is you can either um, two finger click on the trackpad or if you have a mouse, right click. And now you have all these options that you can choose from. If you're familiar with Serato Pro, um, they have this same type of file system in place. So the one that you're looking for is added. So once you click that, now you can have them all in chronological order as far as the date that you added them. So instead of having to do sub crates here, you can just throw them in here and then just sort them out through when you brought them in there. 
So again, that's how you import your own kits. Again, thank you guys for all the support. It's been awesome. Again, if you guys have any questions on anything, please feel free to let me know, comment, here to help everybody else out because everybody's helped me out in the past too. So other than that, Gon's out. Have a great day. Peace. And don't forget to download your free trial of Serato Studio by going to serato.com slash studio and free download. Give it a shot. You won't regret it. Peace.